Bertha, lovely Bertha, you are a lovely machine. And anyone who works with you will know just what I mean. Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Clicking in the day, flashing in the night, your computer is shining brightly. Some people say you have a mind of your own, and I think that's very likely, likely. Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out, we can depend upon you. Today at Spotty's Wood and Company, Bertha is making garden gnomes. Tom takes them to Nell and Flo, who paint them in bright colours. These are the blocks that the gnomes are made from. Here are some more blocks, Ted. Thank you, Roy. We'll stack them down here. I've given this one funny eyes, Nell. Well, I don't suppose it will mind. Do you have any gnomes in your garden? No, not in our garden. We only have weeds. I think I'll make this one special and give it a blue spot on the top of its hat. Oh, that does look special. Good morning, Ted. Morning, Roy. <laughs> Who are these little fellows? They're garden gnomes. What do they do in the garden? They don't do anything. They just sit around next to flowers and things. Why do they wear funny hats? So that people will know that they're gnomes, of course. Where can you buy them? Oh, in gardening shops. If I had a gnome in my garden, it would have to wear a turban. Would it still be a gnome, then? Why don't you ask Ted to get Bertha to make you one with a turban? That would be jolly nice. Could Bertha do that? Bertha can do anything. Anything. Best machine in the factory. I will do as you say. I will ask Ted to make me a gnome with a turban. Hey, Flo. Look at Mr. Duncan. Where? Over there. See? Yes, I see him. He's writing things down on his clipboard. I wonder why. All morning, Mr. Duncan has been watching people at work. He checks his watch and then writes on his clipboard. Aha, uh -huh, Mrs. Top next. Nearly boiled, are we, Ernie? <laughs> hmm, about another five minutes to go. Now, where did I put those currant cakes? <laughs> five minutes, eh? Oh, if you're waiting for a cup of tea, Mr. Duncan, it's not quite ready. Ugh, it's all too slow. Well, I never. I wonder what he wanted. Naught, cross, naught. <laughs> I won. Now Mr. Duncan is watching Tracy in the design office. 
Mr. Sprott isn't here at the moment, Mr. Duncan. Did you want to see him? Uh, 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 no, not now, no. I wonder what he wanted. Did you want something, Mr. Duncan? Well, uh, uh, uh... The manager is not here this morning. I know. He and Mr. Sprott are at a meeting, so I am in charge of the factory until they come back. Yes, I suppose you are. And I've been going around the factory watching people. Why have you been doing that, Mr. Duncan? To see how long it takes people to do their jobs. It's all down here. Everyone in this factory is working far too slowly. Time is money, Miss McClackety. It's a very happy factory. Aye, that may be so. But people are paid to work hard. There are some changes I am going to make. Oh, dear. I don't think the manager will like that, Mr. Duncan. Oh, he will when he reads my notes. It's all written down here. I hope Mr. Wilmake comes back soon. So, Paget, you'd like Bertha to make a dome wearing a turban? Yes, please, if it would not be too much trouble to. <laughs> Let me have that one, Roy. Bertha's going to make a dome with a turban. Bertha could do it. All right, what's going on here? Nobody working as usual? We've all been working very hard. No, you haven't. You've been playing around. I have been watching you. It's all written down here. So that's why he was watching us, Nell. He's been spying on us. This is not spying. It is called time and motion study. It is to find out how fast people work and to see how quickly machines make things. It is this machine that's too slow. When you finish this job, Ted, I am closing Bertha down for good. But Bertha's the best machine in the factory. She is too old and too slow. <laughs> ah, oh. And far too clever by half. You can't close down Bertha. What will happen to all of us? You'll all be given other jobs to do around the factory. What about Tom? He only works with Bertha. He can keep the offices clean. In fact, he can start right now. We must organise a protest. Later, that afternoon, Tracy went to see Miss McClackety. Miss McClackety, what are we going to do? Mr. Duncan says that we are not working hard enough and he's going round the factory changing everyone's job. I know. I wish Mr. Wilmate was here. What's Tom doing here? This is his new job. He's not allowed to work with Bertha anymore. Oh, dear. Poor old Tom. I'm going to see Ted about this. I'll come with you. No, Tom. You stay here and tidy the office.
What on earth is going on here? That plant pot nearly hit me. Hello, Tom. Where is everybody? You shouldn't be up here. Come on, Tom. I want to see what has been happening during my absence. Oh, Mr. Wilmick, thank goodness you're back. What on earth's the matter, Miss McClackety? Mr. Duncan's closed down Bertha. She's not allowed to work anymore. But Bertha's our best machine. Bertha's best, 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 Bertha's best. Now come along. Time to stop protesting and have a nice cup of tea. I haven't seen a teapot like that before, Mrs. Tup. This is Mr. Duncan's idea to speed up the tea break. Sorry, no more tea breaks this afternoon. Now, what's all this protesting, Ted? Don't shut down Bertha. Bertha is the best machine. Bertha must stay. We like working with Bertha. Bertha's best. Bertha's best. Bertha's best. Ah, oh, there is Mr. Duncan. Will you explain what's going on, Mr. Duncan? Whilst you've been away, sir, I've been reorganising the factory to make it more efficient. But the factory works perfectly well as it is. I've done a time and motion study, sir. Everybody works too slowly, especially this machine. It's all written down here. Where? Here? Eh? Where? Eh? Come along, Mr. Duncan. What have you got written down? Show me. A clipboard! M my stopwatch! <laughs> yes, yes, but where are they? Inside Bertha! Aha! Uh -huh. Inside Bertha, eh? Then you've nothing to show me. Come along, Mr. Spot. We must let Bertha get back to work. Find something better to do with the time, Mr. Duncan. More motion, maybe. You can stop your protest now, Ted. Everything is back to normal. We can go on working with Bertha. With me packing? And me stacking? <laughs> yes, carry on, Ted. You can all go on working with Bertha. Oh, I'm glad that's over. No, look. Well, I never. Would you believe it? That's Mr. Duncan's clipboard. And his stopwatch. Good old Bertha. She knew what to do. <laughs> oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha. Sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Oh, 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 oh.